all, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be sharing some air fryer recipes that I've been loving to make. If you already have an air fryer and don't know what to make other than some like potato wedges or something, then these are really great recipes to start with because they're really easy and really tasty. And if you don't have an air fryer yet, then I hope this video kind of convinces you to pick one up because I think air fryers are one of the best kitchen appliances. They're like basically a fast mini oven and you can make almost anything in them as long as you know how to use it. So if you're interested in some really tasty air fryer recipes, then keep on watching. To make the cookie dough into a large bowl, add in the maple syrup, tahini, vanilla, cinnamon, and salt, and then stir it together. Then add in the oats, almond flour, and walnuts, and then mix to combine. And then just fold in some chocolate chips. Scoop a heaping round tablespoon of cookie dough into a lined air fryer basket. I was able to divide the dough into around 8 cookies. Flatten the cookies and then make sure there's a bit of space between each cookie. They don't really spread so you don't have to really worry about them fusing together. Then air fry the cookies in a preheated air fryer at 350 Fahrenheit for 5-6 to six minutes. There's a couple notes on air frying cookies depending on the air fryer you use, so check the blog notes to make sure they come out perfectly. You can bake them longer if you like crispier cookies or bake them less if you like them chewy. My boyfriend and family actually really enjoyed the more burnt looking cookies because they had a nice crispiness on the outside but were really chewy in the middle. And these cookies have been my go-to because it's like a smaller batch and they're like done in less than 15 minutes. Take a banana and then slice it lengthwise down the middle. Then place the banana into a lined air fryer basket. Squeeze on some lemon juice. Then add some cinnamon sugar mix on top until the bananas are coated. Air fry the bananas at 400 Fahrenheit for 6 to 8 minutes or until nice and caramelized. I love making caramelized bananas as a quick snack and drizzling on some maple syrup on top with some coconut yogurt and some nuts. If I'm making this for dessert, I'll top it off with some non dairy ice cream and nuts and it's really good too. And now that the weather's getting cooler, this would be like really good on some warm oats or waffles or pancakes. Mm -hmm. For this recipe, start by peeling the skin off a medium to large Japanese sweet potato. Cut the sweet potato into 1 inch chunks and let them sit in some water for 8 to 10 minutes. Then drain the potatoes and then place it into your air fryer basket and then air fry at 380 Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. In the meantime, into a small to medium pan over medium heat, add in the water, maple syrup and sugar and then swirl the pan until the sugar dissolves completely. The key point to know here is to not stir this mixture with like a spoon or any utensil because the sugar dissolves really unevenly that way and it becomes really clumpy. Once the sugar becomes slightly caramelized in color, add in the sweet potatoes and then reduce the heat to a low. Shake the pan and use some tongs to coat each piece evenly. Once the sweet potatoes are all evenly coated, transfer it into a bowl and I like to serve it with some black sesame seeds. It adds a really nice savory nutty flavor with the sweetness of the potatoes. Japanese sweet potatoes are creeping back into season and I'm so so excited because it's one of my favorite foods ever and this is just another way to enjoy them. It's a really good crunchy sweet snack or dessert and you don't have to deep fry the potatoes like it's traditionally done. Into a bowl combine the soy milk and flour to make a dredge. The consistency you're looking for should be very similar just to like a typical dredge or pancake mix. If you find the dredge is a little too thick, add in small amounts of water until the right consistency. With some cauliflower pieces that's been cut into like a traditional, typical wing size, coat each piece with the dredge and place it into the air fryer basket. Try to make sure each piece isn't touching. This is when a larger air fryer is really handy. Air fry the cauliflower at 375 Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. Then take the air fryer out and then dip them into some barbecue sauce and then place it back into the air fryer basket and then air fry for another 12 to 15 minutes or until they become nice and tender and crispy. I'd be lying if they said they tasted like wings because they don't, it's cauliflower. Um, but they do have that pull effect of chicken and it's a really fun finger food to have as an appetizer or snack and you can definitely do this with other sauces if you don't really like barbecue sauce. 
So those are all the air fryer recipes I have for you today. I hope you really enjoyed this video and try these recipes out if you have an air fryer. And if you don't have an air fryer, like I said, I hope it convinces you to get one because air fryers are like magical. And if you do try out any of these recipes, don't forget to take a picture and share them with me on Instagram. I love seeing all of your recreations. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.